Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project order management system and I have developed this project in ASP C Sharp and MySQL. Also I am using the Visual Studio 2017 for running this project. For connecting ASP C Sharp with MySQL, I am using the MySQL connector which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website. For front-end development, I have used HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also I have used like for form validations. For date calendar plugin integrations, I have used the jQuery plugins, right? So these are technology stacks I have used for developing this project. For server, I am running this project on the IIS server. You can run this project on any of the browser because this is a web-based application which I have developed in ASP C Sharp and MySQL. Right, this is a core ASP application. So let's start with the functionality, go through that what we have implemented, what are the functionalities available inside this project. So the project title is order management system and this is a mini project developed in ASP. So for running this project, you need to import this project on uh, Visual Studio and after that, if you run the project, you will get this output. So this is the home page of the project. You can see, see, this is the simple home page. And this is static. This is about project. This is about the project. This is admin login from where admin can log in and admin can perform certain operations. This is a contact us and this is a static contact us page. I am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database. Even I am not sending a type of email and SMS from this page. If you click on the admin login, the user ID is admin and the password is test. Once you log inside the system, then you will get this dashboard. So you can see this is the dashboard. This is a home. This is a dashboard. Right. From here, you can jump on that page. So this all dashboard menus are available here also. So you can see this is the ad cells. This is the report part, right? So you can go on the page either clicking here or either clicking from here, right? So I'm going from here. So this is ad cells from where you can start the cells. You need to enter the customer name. So I am entering the customer name question and the contact number. <clears throat> Once you click on the start billing, deliver billing dashboard will be started. So you can see this is the order number 30, order date, and the name of the customer contact number. Here you need to select the product and the quantity. The all things. Once you click on that to cart, then all things will be calculated automatically. Right here you need to select the quantity and the and select the product and quantity then you can see the things are calculating automatically right so i'm adding one more this is one and once i click on that to cart then you can see here the item had been added into the cart if you want to delete any item just click the delete button and that item will be deleted from the cart right so once you complete with the order just click on the save and exit right once you click on the save and print then the details will be saved inside the database Right. So this is the ad sales part. This is the ad product. From here, you will be able to add any number of products. So here, product name, product image, company name, model number, product type, product price, number of stock, and descriptions. Right. Add company. From here, you will be able to add the company's details. So you can see this is the form for the company, the product company. This is ad product type. From here, you will be able to product types. So once you Enter all of the information, all of the details will be saved inside the database. This is a cell support. From here, you will be able to see all of the cells. Right. Once you click on the details, you will be able to see the details of the cells. And you can click once you click on the print receipt, then this page will be printed from the connected printer. <coughs> this is a cell support. This is a product report. All of the product which you have saved into the database will be displayed here. Right. You can edit and update the details from here also. This is a company report. All of the companies which you have added will be displayed here, and you can edit and update the details of the company from here. Uh, sorry, I think there is some issue. So, this is all of the companies, and after that, product type report you can see all of the product uh, type reports here. You can edit and update the details. This is a change password from where you will be able to update your account password. And once you update your account password, you will be able to log in with your updated password and log out. Once you click on the logout, then above administration menu will not be displayed so you can see administrative menu is not displaying but if i log in then you will be able to see the administrative menus so you can see administrative menus are displaying and if you cl click on logout then administrative menu is not displaying so because this is uh, a session driven menu and it renders according to the session so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project automated system 
and as I told you earlier, this is a ASP C Sharp and MySQL web based mini DBMS project. And if you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest analysis. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.